Hey y'all. I guess that's gonna be my signature. Uh, come on, do y'all see the sign back there? This is love. Um, it's actually First Corinthians sixteen and fourteen. Let all that you do be done with love. Um, and I don't know what's going on with my hair today, but you know it is what it is. This fro is um, I'm probably gonna have to like Tabitha and name her. Um, I don't know. She she is not cooperating with me today, though. Like she has a straight up attitude, um, being a little resistant. I put moisturizer and water on her, and she just she just doesn't want to act right today. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna call her Shirley. Mm-hmm. Shirley cutting up. She cutting up today. That's what I'm gonna call her Shirley. Thank you, Tabitha. She's you got to name those things that are important to you, even the inanimate objects. So this is Shirley. And Shirley is acting a whole plum fool today. She might be still mad at Barbara, but she ain't got no reason to be at Barbara. No, Barbara called Shirley. I don't even know. You know what? I might call her. No, nah, she's Shirley. She ain't no Barbara. Um... Because she, one day she with me, one day she not. Anyhow, do y'all see how I just went on a minute and a half rant about something else? Lord have mercy. So, I'm not editing this. I have yet to edit a video, y'all. Um, I just upload them. What you see is what you get, right? The channel is all about being authentic, transparent. Um, what's the word? Um, authentic, transparent, um open so yeah what you see mm. is what you get all right we're at two minutes and five seconds now seriously so just a recap after show of today's um topic which is all lives can't matter until black lives matter uh what's the resolution so today was part three and part three was for us to come in with a resolution as to how um we as individuals can do some things to get um started or progress forward um to try to make some change um the one thing that i i came up this week with was being like an ember from a fire i love sitting around the fire pit and i love when the wood is initially dropped into the fire pit um Thankfully for us, we have our fire pit on concrete. So if by chance a Kindle or an Amber jumps from the fire pit, it's just going to concrete. It's not going to do anything. However, when we're over at our friend's house, they also have a fire pit, the, the old stove kind. I love it. Um, but when they put wood in, because it is the old, uh, it's the eastern, oh, I love it, y'all. The stove, like, it's vintagey. I, I I love it. Um, I need them to know I love it, love it. Like if they find another one, let us know. That's how much I love it. Um, but they also have a wooden deck. And so when they go out, they have to water the deck um, in order in the, not just the deck, but the, the area around the fire pit so that if an amber or a kindle pops out, it doesn't start a fire. Well, my desire is to be an amber or a kindle with positive things that will start a fire and that will spread it. And I use those terms because we're so, I'm just one person. Um, and so it would seem like I can't make a difference in the world. Um, but we can. And so um, I was the only one that kind of brought solutions today, but it's okay. It's something that can be used in every area of the world, every city, every county. Um, and so I just charge you to do it. Now, I truly am at about five minutes. So I'm gonna try to speed this thing on up because um, it is the after show. It shouldn't be as long as the show. Um, but thank you to everybody that joined me today. I appreciate it. You don't have to take your time to spend with me on a Saturday, but you do, um, or any other day, but you do. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for the family and the friends that I've met through YouTube um, and the support I've received through YouTube. Um, as someone that has been 
an entrepreneur before as a licensed hairstylist. Um, that's why I'm so bothered with Shirley today. Y'all probably not, but I'm super bothered with her. Um, I know that a lot of times it's not those closest to you that support you, but it's those that you don't know. And so um, that's kind of one of the reasons why I make it my business to support the people that I know. Um, because I don't want their biggest supporter to be someone other than someone that they know. I don't know if that makes sense, but there's nothing greater than a business owner feeling like they're um, accept, accepted by their own. Um, yeah, it, it's just, there's no greater feeling than that. Um, and so that's what I try to do. The last two Saturdays, I've not had a small business to put up. If you have a small business, and I'm also going to create a, um, actually like a, a YouTube video for it, please tell me. Um, it's not just about small black, black owned businesses or small, like if you have a small business, um, a business that supports your family a business that you um even if it's a side hustle as we call it but something that you desire to be um your main source of income and i have one ordered from you please 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 um send me your email address and information um, so that I can go ahead and start lining up the business of the week. And what happens is I just mention you throughout the week, send people to your page. Usually on Saturday, I will do a um, drawing and I will order something um, <clears throat> from them on their behalf. The last two people that have won have not claimed their prizes. I'm about to put an expiration on it and possibly do another drawing for those two items because yeah, they have yet to claim them. That's another thing. Now I've made it to almost seven minutes and 30 seconds and still hadn't told y'all what the plan was. So um, I came with seven action items that I can do by myself. Um, and so I'm excited. Number one, was I'm going to make a list of all of the homeowners in my community community that is elderly. Elderly um, doesn't necessarily have to be a particular age, but well, elderly and disabled. Um, doesn't have to be a particular age, but just so that we can know what's in our community if our community catch fire so we can know who house we need to go to to get them out because they can't get themselves out if a storm is coming that type of thing trying to bring back community camaraderie <clears throat> that whole it takes a village um i believe in doing that we'll find the grandparents that have children that they're raising we'll find parents that have children that they're raising we're just one family but if we do it and somebody else do it that could be some type of change and growth. And that's what we want, right? Change, growth, safer community. Number two is I am going to reach out to my local police chief. And I know y'all probably like, how you just gonna reach out to the local police chief? Well, if your police chief is not accessible to you, that's the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in some areas, police, police chiefs are voted in. In some areas, they are appointed. Um, however, I'm going to reach out to my police chief as a concerned citizen, as someone who wants to make my community safer and see how I can be um, productive in doing that. But also, I want to talk to him about educating us on exactly what is it that the police are supposed to do um maybe i could get a day in the life in maybe he will let me vlog it i don't know but i am going to reach out to him via email today that is my action plan and then i will call on monday 
and I will try to set up a time with him. The next thing, I am going to go to the local police station for my neighborhood. Um, every neighborhood sh should have a precinct that is dedicated to them. So I'm going to go there and try to find out um, just how can I create some type of event that will allow the officers in that precinct to meet the members of the community and you know, how can we do that and, and that's important because <clears throat> I feel that <clears throat> we're not going to always be able to prevent a situation like what occurred with Rayshard Brooks however I feel that talking communicating that's where it all starts and so we got to go we got to start somewhere right um, and someone said in the chat, I want to pray for you because they may feel like you, you're an organizer or you're trying to, no, I pray not. I'm, I'm coming in peace. I come in peace. I truly want to know what and how can we as a society, um, help, help remove the stigma of, um, police officers being horrible because they're not all horrible, as well as help remove the stigma that black people are horrible and we hate them. Like, um, so that's the plan to even figure out, like for my local station, how much are you responsible for? Like, I know it's not just like my community of 10 streets, how much, what's your area? What are you responsible for? Um, are they stretched thin? Those type of things. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is reach out to my city council member, speak with her, see what her agenda is. Um, also, um, I'm going to meet with, um, in my city, we have a city council and then we have, it's a whole nother council or something, but it's like broken into three regions or whatever. So I, I want to meet with that person too. Um, and then my next action um, is meet with my school board member, which I don't have a child um, that attends school in my zone. However, I think it's important for me to meet with the person in my zone because I do have a desire to be a school board member. Um, I think the best way to ever be a successor is to learn from those who are already in place. I think one of the things that we've got to get better about doing is stepping over or trying to run through the older generation because we feel like they don't understand but instead take their wisdom um get their wisdom and mix it with some of the things that we know and help bring about change instead of trying to just remove people out of the way if that makes sense um and especially when they are doing what they supposed to do um I'm learning that a lot of things have become political that shouldn't be political. Um, we learned that even in the Richard Brooks case with the DA being up for re-election this year. Some stuff is political <clears throat> that just shouldn't be political. So next week, the other action step I have is we're going to talk about voting. So next week, um, I need somebody from a Republican party that's not afraid to speak, someone from the Democratic party that's not afraid to speak, Green Party, Libertarian, and Independent, and any other party that's not afraid to come on and talk to us. I think one of the biggest things is we wait until it's an election year to learn about voting when in fact we kind of need to know these things beforehand. And the reason I say this is because I remember when I started voting, my mom just said, go in and hit Democrat. And I was like, well, what else do I? She was like, just push Democrat. That's all you do. Well, guess what? When my daughter got 18 and I was 36 years old, um, she went in to vote. And guess what her mother said? Just go in and hit Democrat. That's like, well, I need to know why now, if that makes sense. Um, I need to know why. I will say one thing that we do as a family is we try to make informed decisions together. We sit down, we talk about um, agendas as we learn them, but it's always right before the elections. So I think we need to get a greater understanding of local elections as well as uh, presidential elections. We also need to get an understanding of even primary elections. Like I remember when I went to do the primary election for um, 
president in 2016 20 this year no 2016 um there was also one this year but 2016 i remember them asking and me thinking because that was the first time that i had that question asked me are you democratic or republic you democratic or republic ticket and i was like well if i wanted a republic ticket because of the, the neighborhood that i live in i probably wouldn't say republic um or out loud but i thought about it i was like why don't we get to vote in a primary for both um, parties if we're only going to have two parties because here's the thing if the democratic party doesn't win i still should have some say in whoever the the republican candidate is and vice versa the republican party should have some say in who their second runner up is going to be so it, so if the democratic person or the republican person wins we've all experienced um how can i say it uh all experienced or had some type of experience and understanding of what that person's agenda is. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to do is figure out how I can create a community meeting um, so that I can find out what is it that we as a community expect from the police? What is it that we as a community would like to see from the police? And what will make the community feel safe as well as what will make um, officers feel safe in the community. Um, and then the last thing is Zennials. Our job as Zennials, which I'll get the year correct, but I believe it's 1977 until 1982. We're kind of a unique people because we know about a rotary phone, but we also, in time before internet, but then we also know about internet and so like if something happened right now where we had no power zennials can survive millennials cannot um gen x can survive those that are still living but the poor millennials no and so i think that's where the biggest disconnect is and so i almost think that it's a responsibility for those of us that are zennials to come together figure out how we can bridge the gap even if it's just a place where we come and communicate and throw in some type of um not rhetoric, but um, great dialogue, great conversation to mend um, the gap, to, to bridge the fence. Because one of the things that I think has happened is like the baby boomers, Gen X, they're like their 60s and up. And so for them, like they're over this, like, like I've seen, for, you know, for them, I've seen, you know, people die. I've seen the rioting. I've seen the protesting before. This mess is still going on here. You know, like I said, even in the video, um, the Bible guarantees us three score and 10 possibly. So they're probably like, I'm 10 years from 70. Nothing has changed. I'm not going to waste my last 10, three, four, five years trying to bring about something that's not going to happen. This mess is da 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 da. And I want to make sure that my grandchildren da 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 da. So somehow we got to bridge that gap. So my goal is to make an action today and that will be I'm going to start a social platform for Zennials specifically um, so that we can bridge the gap. Um, and yeah, those are my actions. And this after show is about to be 20 minutes long. So with that being said, I thank you guys for those of you that do, um, look at my after shows. I thank you. I thank you for supporting me. I thank you for, um, even being with me on this black lives, uh, matter journey. Um, all lives can't matter until black lives matter. I thank you because it, it, it was hard. Um, it wasn't easy. Um, I've been called a coon. I knew it was going to happen. Um, told there was some coonery. Um, I wish the person um, wouldn't have deleted their comment. I don't know. And truthfully, I don't know if they deleted it or YouTube deleted it, but I do have their name. Um, I would have responded in the comments. Um, you know, why do you say that? What makes you think that? you know so that we can have dialogue because again the whole basis of my platform is a safe place for us to have the uncomfortable but necessary comfort conversations so there's no judgment judgment or um like i'm not angry that they felt that way they're entitled to feel that way now let's talk about it um because i know who i am i know what i stand for um 
and I'm confident in that. And so with that being said, let's talk about it. Like, don't call me a name and then just go away. Like, let's talk about it. Um, but again, I don't know if they deleted the comment or if YouTube um, deleted the comment. However, um, I just will continue to make sure that whatever I do, it's just like that sign that it will be in love. So with that being said, this is the first time I've ever had an after show this 20 minutes long, but that was a long recap. Um, I'm going to check with the two winners from the previous um, gifts and see if they're going to pick out a gift. And if not, then I will do a um, I think I know what I'm going to do yeah um so yeah i love you guys thank you so much for supporting me look forward to seeing that uh zennials um bridging the gap and yeah i love you um and that's all i got to say so i'm sending lots of peace loves blessing your way enjoy your saturday look for some videos that i will be putting out um just to kind of help with a couple of things um may even go over to tiktok ah, we shall see but all right y'all have a good saturday enjoy yourselves i'm going to try to enjoy myself i got a lot of work to do like i've said this before i'll say it again whoever thought youtube was a hobby mm -mm, mm -mm. this is a whole lot the whole lot um yeah but anyway, thank y'all. I appreciate your support. Bye. Oh, Lord, I don't want that bye. Y'all know who that bye sound like, don't it? Bye, y'all. <laughs> bye.